हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द सेशन एंड वेलकम टू द फैंटास्टिक फैबुलस एंड फैंटाबुलस सेशन बाय वेदांत नाइन्थ एंड इंग्लिश माय नेम इज प्रतेश आई एम योर होस्ट योर दोस्त एंड अ प्राउड मास्टर टीचर फ्रॉम वेदांत वेलकमिंग यू टू द अमेजिंग सेशन ऑफ योर फेवरेट चैप्टर कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन फ्रॉम ग्रेड 10 वेयर टुडे वी आर एक्सप्लोरिंग द ह्यूमन ब्रेन डू यू नो दैट द ह्यूमन ब्रेन इज द मोस्ट स्टडीड बाय द लीस्ट अंडरस्टूड ऑर्गन ऑन द प्लेनेट and we have also already got a brief on the nervous system of human beings in the previous session if you haven't watched that video yet please go and watch it today we will be learning a little more about the human brain in detail so as you know that the human central nervous system consists of the brain and the spinal cord but when we talk about the brain it is a very very complex organ made of nervous tissue highly foldable to accommodate a large surface area in less space it is protected by the cranium or the brain box which is also called as the skull but it has three layers of membranes called the meninges and they are the pia mater the dura mater and the arachnoid mater there is also a cerebrospinal fluid present between these meninges that protects the brain from any kind of physical shock it also maintains the fluidity and supplies nutrients to the brain the csf provides cushioning to the brain against any kind of mechanical shock any injury to the meninges that is the pia arachnoid and the dura mater is called as meningitis it's a condition where one of the meninges swell or there is some kind of damage to them the parts of the human brain include the forebrain midbrain and the hindbrain hypothalamus is also a part of the human brain the forebrain has cerebrum thalamus hypothalamus the midbrain then the hindbrain has pons medulla oblongata and the cerebellum and then we have got the spinal cord so let's explore each part in detail forebrain midbrain and hindbrain in the forebrain as i told we have got the cerebrum thalamus and the hypothalamus the cerebrum is the upper the overall outer largest part of the brain it controls all the voluntary motor actions it receives sensory information it is also the seat of learning and memory from receptors the thalamus is the control center between the sensory and the motor signaling we already learned in the previous session that how does the motor neuron interneuron and the sensory neuron work hypothalamus controls temperature hunger thirst etc it's a very very important question in the exam that what is the site for thermoregulation in the body it is hypothalamus many times asked in the boards as well hypothalamus is also responsible for regulation of sexual behavior emotions and etc now we come to the hind brain which has the cerebellum the cerebellum lies at the back it controls motor functions posture and balance both your static and dynamic equilibrium it controls precision of voluntary action there is a give reason which is very commonly asked in the exam that why does a person who is under the influence of alcohol walks clumsily it is because alcohol directly affects or affects your cerebellum cerebellum is the part of the brain that controls your posture and voluntary actions so when the cerebellum gets affected due to alcohol the person is not able to walk straight medulla medulla is at the base of the brain and continues into the spinal cord it controls involuntary actions of the body pons it's a part of the hind brain located near the medulla it regulates respiration and transfers information from the lower cerebellum and spinal cord and cerebellum and the cerebrum and the midbrain for more information and to test how much have you understood about this information that is forebrain and the midbrain and the hindbrain you must take the quiz which is attached in the description box of this video this quiz will help you to know how much have you understood whether it is the hindbrain the midbrain or the forebrain where we learned about cerebrum we learned about thalamus hypothalamus the cerebellum medulla and the pons we are yet to learn in detail about the midbrain so as you see that the midbrain is this part it is this particular part of the brain about which we'll be learning further 
in the meanwhile i also want you <coughs> excuse me to research a little bit about corpus callosum what is corpus callosum where is it situated and do you know that if this corpus callosum is cut still the brain works so what exactly is corpus callosum do a little bit research about the left and the right hemispheres also in which the brain is divided right and before that let me tell you that if you want to learn in detail not only about your boards but also about the national talent search exam which is conducted on the national level on math math that is mental ability science and social science then you must join the vedantu's ntsc crash course for grade 9 and 10 where you get 30 live interactive classes live doubt solving Assess assessment tests and quizzes gamification of the class from top master teachers and top topic wise assignments then you must take the vedantu's ntsc crash course where you are getting to learn from the top master teachers of the country at a very very discounted cost by using the coupon code prepro these courses are starting from the 13th of june at 7 pm so don't delay use this coupon code prepro get a discount and start learning with that guys we come to the end but there is a lot more to explore about the human uh, nervous system about control and coordination where we also have to learn about hormones yet so give this video a big fat thumbs up share it with your friends and school whatsapp groups and subscribe to vedant the 9th and english it's absolutely free of course i'll be seeing you again really soon until then take care of yourself stay healthy stay happy stay blessed bye bye thank you so much